Like, is it because I'm a girl? I'm not a bloke? Like, that's just so cruel. Here we go again. Okay, so this is my first day on this apprentice job. This is like my first like proper job. Um, and they've sent me to the shop to get some bits. So they have asked me to get, I've got a list here. Water hammer, 10 foot fallopian tube, copper magnets, tartan paint and a long stand. I don't really know what these are. First of all, boys, she's wearing a hard hat going to the shop. It's not a good sign. And the water, the hammer and the paint, I thought you would have known what those things are at least. This ain't looking good, boys. This ain't looking good. My dad used to do like stuff like this. Um, so I thought like, oh, <laughs> following his footsteps. Uh, yeah, I think I'm at the shop. So I'm going to update you uh, when I've got the stuff. <laughs> okay, back in the car now. I went into the shop. I literally just like found like the first employee because I don't, I don't know what these things are. I've never really done this before. Went in and just went to like the first member of staff showed him the list and he's like stops laughing at me and i'm like and then i just like go around the corner and i just start looking for stuff and then i found like this guy he looks like an older guy and i was like okay this older man like he looked quite like sweet i was like he's probably gonna like hopefully like take pity on me tell me where this stuff is and then he starts like giggling and then like these two other lads like come around the corner they start laughing at me they're like oh look at the list look at the list i'm like what like i don't know what this stuff is like then they look at the list they're like none of this stuff exists and i'm like what and i like have another look at the list and it's like 10 foot fallopian tube obviously that's not a thing and they're proper laughing at me and i've spent like so much time trying to get to the shop and then come back out i've been out for like nearly two hours trying to get this stuff i'm gonna go back to the site and then they're all gonna like laugh at me like, i don't know like what's the point like that's just so mean like, like is it because i'm a girl is it because i like i mean like I'm not a bloke, like, is that what it is? Is that just, oh, let's just take the piss out of her because she's a girl. Like, is that what, what it is? It's just so cruel. If you're an apprentice and they ask you to go to the shop with a list, you already know it's over. And don't worry, this ain't because you're a woman. This is, this, this happens to apprentices all the time. And this is why women don't usually work in construction. You can't be sensitive on site. Everyone goes through this, trust me. This is how all apprentices are treated. That's how you become one of the lads. Be honored green flags to look out for in a guy number one when he knows about love languages if he knows what love languages are that means that he knows how he wants to be loved which from my experience is very rare in men and when you tell him yours that means he's gonna know exactly how to show you love what's the last amount of money a man spent on a wedding ring for you guys 500 grand, okay? I don't care if you're broke as Take your mama's life saving, take your life saving, take your grandma's life saving, and get me a rock. There is no price limit, whatever the f I pick out, you're buying. Here, yes. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Fuck off. How about that? These girls are talking about they want 500 grand, but they're lurking the streets, probably getting whacked by guys for free. And I can already tell these girls have got no gag, and you know what they say? No gag. No dad. Would you object to a guy not wanting to date a woman who's overweight? I wouldn't think it's fair. You wouldn't think it's fair. We're in dating this fairness exists. That could be changed though. Like that yeah, you could but, work on that. Yeah, you can. Well she has like thyroid problems or something like that. She just like that doesn't change the visceral response we have to seeing a woman. I just didn't think that that's fair that like I just don't understand how a preference is unfair. Yeah, it's a preference. Like if I was obese that makes me unmarried er, wait, wait, unmarriedable, no. like unwifeable, un no, like, no, I'm we, not high value you just because i'm overweight damn right it does damn right i'm going to the gym every day and i gotta come home and see you sat on the sofa eating flipping a bag of doritos and some cheeseburgers man that's gonna eat me up inside and you know what they say good luck trying to put the key in the key when the light's off that's all i'm gonna say say it again you just put it back on your finger Say it. I am sorry that I took the ring off your finger. It was just a game of trouble. <laughs> and I would very much like to marry you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Breaking news. This video behind me is going viral and causing controversy. Check this out. Um, I'm just going to give it to you straight. If you're looking for a girl who's going to take care of you or cook you dinner 
are going to provide for you, you're not going to find that here. Okay. I don't bring things to the table. You know what I bring? I bring these good looks, this hot body and an unforgettable personality, but that's about it. Everything else is pretty much up to you. And I like it that way. I'm going to keep it that way. So if you're looking for a girl who's going to bring something to the table, you're not going to find that here and you might as well move along and not take me out. So yeah, uh, just wanted to let you guys. Now there's pretty much two groups of people responding to this video. One group is saying that this woman here is stunning and brave and that she is destroying the patriarchy with this video. Because they're pretty much saying what she said is based because she's pretty much saying she's not going to be a guy's mother. And that if you want a housewife, you need to go back to the 1950s. But other people are saying that this video is troubling. Because this woman is pretty much admitting that it's pointless in dating her. That what she brings is only skin deep and that's it. She belongs to the streets. That's one thing we hear all the time with these modern women. They say, oh, I'm not looking to be a guy's mother. Well, I ain't looking to be your father. Protecting, providing, paying for the bills. They never mention that. They want a traditional guy who takes care of them, pays for them, pays for the house, the bills, the kids, date nights, but they don't want to bring anything to the table themselves. And those good looks, that body, give it a few years, that's going to go away. So to any girl who says, I ain't looking to be your mother, just say, I ain't looking to be your father. Get the fuck out of my house. You're a feminist doing that's empowering yet you're relying on creepy disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bills which is probably the most degrading thing in the entire world whereas actually if you were in an office it would be a lot less degrading you could actually have respect in an office and do not get offended when you come into the dating pool and dating world and you are seen as a low value woman. In my eyes, you are. In every man's eyes, you are. And uh, don't get offended when people don't want to marry you, don't want you to be their girlfriend. You're going to hit the real world eventually. Um, it's just a amount of time. And no one with any level of like a brain would ever respect someone who does that. There's a lot to impact. I don't go on the Internet and expect people not to judge me. You cannot be a sex worker and expect people not to judge you. I agree with that. What advice would you give to your younger self? Don't get married. <laughs> You're free, man. You're free in the world, so don't get married, please. You know, forget about population. It will grow automatically. You know, don't get married. Don't lose your freedom and individuality. You know, and your pride, man. You're a man. You're always wanted. I'll tell you. You're yeah. always wanted. But once you got it, you're jailed. It's sad to say, but that, that's some good advice. There, there really isn't much benefit to getting married these days. And a lot of people will shoot me and say, look, that's harsh. But when you look at it from a factuality standpoint, right? What is the benefit as a man here? I'm not talking about as a woman, because we all know the benefit of getting married as a woman. But as a man, what is the benefit of staying Boyfriend and girlfriend, or husband and wife. The risk outweighs reward. That's all I'm saying. How old are you? 21. Where are you from? Guatemala. What do you look for in a guy right now? He's funny, and he treats me well. What about the money? Nah, I don't care. Not at all? No. So he doesn't even have to make 100K? No. Let's say you made 100K. How much should he make? I don't care. I really don't care about money. What do you care more about then? His personality. Yeah? Yes. So let's say I wanted to take you on a first date, right? Where would you want to go? Maybe to eat something, I don't know, to a restaurant. What if I said, let's go to Burger King? It's okay. I love Burger King. What's your favorite thing on a menu? Uh, hamburger, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. Okay. What gave you that mentality? I don't know, maybe my, my parents um, raised me well. So I never really care about money. Well, boys, it's a rare thing we see on the channel, but that's a keeper right there. And she's from overseas, and I'm pretty sure that this video, because this guy films these videos in Miami, and I hope that that place doesn't fry her brain and turn her into some of the women we hear and see today.
If she keeps that mindset, she's going to live a happy life. And so is the guy she meets.